this formula that you can see on your screen is probably the most important formula that you will use in grade 11 and parts of grade 12. F net equals to MA. It is Newton's second law expressed as a mathematical formula. So in the previous lesson we looked at the definition of Newton's second law and here it is again. And so what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to take this expression and I'm going to get A by itself. So what you would end up with is A is equal to F net over mass. So it says here that the acceleration of an object is inversely proportional to the mass. That is why the mass is at the bottom and directly proportional to the net force. And so that's why the net force is at the top. So this formula is all of that, but in a mathematical expression. So you can actually use it in a calculation. So look how easy this is. Let's say you've got this object over here. Someone's pulling it to the right with 20 Newtons and someone's pulling to the left with five Newtons. Is the object gonna move right or left? Well, obviously it's gonna move to the right. What would the overall effect be? Well, that's gonna be 15 Newtons to the right. I hope that makes sense. If you if someone's pulling with 20 Newtons that way and five Newtons that way, then the overall effect is 15 Newtons to the right. So you could almost replace this picture with this, like that. There's no difference between the two. Both objects would move at the exact same rate or acceleration because 20 minus five is the same as just having one force of 15 Newtons. Now that 15 Newtons, that is what we call F net. Net is like, it means result. So the total result after everything has been done. It's almost like the profit. Let's say your business earns 20 million rand in a year and then your expenses are 5 million rand. That means your total profit is 15 million rand. That's what F net is. M stands for mass, so it's the mass of the object, and then A is the acceleration. So if F net is 15 and the mass is 10, then we can work out the acceleration as 15 divided by 10, and that's gonna give you 1.5. Now remember, the acceleration is how many, how much, by how, f in, in one second, how much does the, s the velocity change? Now velocity is measured in meters per second. So if you want to know how the velocity is changing in meters per second, every single second, then acceleration is meters per second to the negative two, because we're saying meters per second per second. So why don't you pause the video and have a go at this one? See if you can work out the acceleration of this object. So what we need to do first is we need to find the resultant. So think of profit. If your business makes 40,000 Rand per month and you you spend 10,000 Rand per month to run the business, well then your profit is 30,000 Rand for that month. In terms of this, it's gonna be 30 Newtons as your F net. Your mass is five. And so if you calculate the acceleration, you end up with six. Now that's gonna be six meters per second per second. And that's why we have minus two over there. And then you should also say to the right. Here's another one. Now don't panic when you've got a 40 and a 40. Newton's second law always works. So the net force is just going to be zero. Why? Because your, let's say your profit is 40,000, but your expenses are 40,000. So your profit is zero. The mass of your object is five. And so when you try to work out your acceleration, you're going to have zero divided by five, and that gives you zero. And so the acceleration is zero. What does acceleration mean? Acceleration is when your velocity changes. Okay, so if these two forces are balanced, then your velocity is not going to change. So either this object is gonna move at a constant velocity, like 10 kilometers per hour, and then 10 kilometers per hour, and then again 10 kilometers per hour, or if the object's not moving, then it's gonna to continue to stay at rest. And so that takes us back to Newton's first law. So when the forces are balanced, then the object has no acceleration. And that is what Newton's first law has told us. And I hope many of you at home are saying, ah, oh, that makes sense. If so, that is awesome. And so that's all I wanted to go through in this lesson is how to use the formula F net is equal to MA. Thank you for watching.